So we're gonna find the largest value of x that satisfies this equation. I'm gonna start by rewriting it. So we got log base six of x squared minus log base six of x plus two equals nine. So first thing we need to take care of is there's two logs subtracted. We're gonna use the properties of logs, which says log a minus log b equals Subtraction outside is division inside. Now I didn't write any base down. This works for any base, whether it's base 10, uh, base E, or any other base, any other good base. Don't use one, don't use zero or negative numbers, but subtraction outside is division inside. And I'm gonna do that right here on the, just on the left side, the right side I'm not touching. So we have log base six of x squared divided by x plus two equals nine. All right, so we wanna solve for x. So we wanna get rid of x as friends. This is all inside the parentheses, so we're gonna deal with this last, but we can get rid of this. How do we do it? We're gonna use the definition of a log. I'm gonna scroll back up to that. Probably the most important thing to remember is the definition of a log. Uh, well, at least when it comes to logarithms is the definition. So we're gonna move the base to the other side as a base. All right, so here we go. Moving the base to the other side as a base. So you just have the x squared over x plus two equals base six to the nine power, to the ninth power. Okay, what's six to the ninth power? It's six times six times six times six. Da, 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 da. A lot of sixes multiplied together. You can go and multiply it out. It's gonna be really ugly. Well, at least it's gonna be a whole number. This will be a very big whole number. So I'm gonna leave it as six to the ninth power. All right, how do we solve for x? Easier said than done. I don't like fractions, so let's multiply by the denominator, x plus two. So we have x squared equals six to the ninth power times x plus two. You're gonna distribute here six to the ninth x plus two times six to the ninth equals x squared. And you have a quadratic, so collect all the terms on one side. So we're gonna subtract six to the ninth x, subtract two times six to the ninth, and you get zero. Now how should we solve this? I would recommend against completing the square we might be able to get factor and get lucky. I don't know how lucky I'm feeling though. Whew. Always nervous factoring getting lucky while on the spot. Let's see, I'm just gonna take a guess. We need six to the ninth and one of these for sure. Um, no, it's not gonna work. We'll get the right our middle term will be incorrect. So I think I'll get the right constant term, but we get negative six to the ninth x plus two x, which is not gonna give us that. All right, so fashion getting lucky is not gonna work. I wasn't feeling particularly lucky on this problem. All right, what always works, well, complete square always works, but it's gonna be some algebra, it's not gonna be fun because this number's not even. Correction, this number is even, but I'm still not gonna complete the square. Mm. I love completing the square. All right, let's complete the square. Let's get crazy here. Uh, six to the ninth is six times six to the eighth, which is two times three times six to the eighth. All right, complete the square. Apologies in advance if this gets ugly. Uh, of course, what's the other option? The other option is the ugliest option, which is quadratic formula. You can definitely do that. All right, complete the square. So x squared plus bx equals x plus b over two squared minus b over two squared. All right, here we go. Here is, uh, in our case, b, wherever we are, this is b right here. So what is b over two will be half of that, three times six to the eighth. So we have x minus 
3 times 6 to the 8th squared, I'm writing this down now, minus, that square is a little bit high up, minus uh, b over 2, which again is 3 times 6 to the 8th squared, uh, minus, so that just replaced these terms right here. We still have our constant term, 2 times 6 to the 9th equals 0. All right, so how do we solve for x? Well, x appears once, uh, not twice anymore. It's the whole magic of completing the square. And we're going to add these constants to the right side. So we have 3 times 6 to the 8th squared minus plus 2 times 6 to the 9th. x minus 3 times 6 to the 8th power squared. All right, almost there. We can simplify this a little bit. 3 squared is 9 times uh, 6 to the 8th squared. You're going to multiply powers right here. Remember, this is not a plus, so I don't FOIL. This is a product, so I can just distribute the power. 6 to the 16th uh, plus 2 times 6 to the 9th. Alright, we're getting there. Square root, both sides. Alright, you're going to get plus or minus. No, I'm not going to get too fancy on doing some algebra inside here. You can definitely fa- whoa, how did- oh jeez. There's a bad penmanship mistake right there. <laughs> 2 times 6 to the 9th. You can factor out 6 to the 9th um, if you wanted to and get a, uh, cut the power in half and move it out front, but I'm not going to do that. All right, so we got x equals uh, add 3 times 6 to the 8th to both sides, plus or minus this hideous square root. This should be what you get if you went quadratic formula. Now we do have two answers here. Generally the positive one is the one you want to use. One of these is likely to be negative because you're going to get, well, clearly that's a positive number, plus or minus whatever this value is. If you have a calculator, you know what it is. Uh, most likely one of these two, the plus or the minus, will be uh, negative. So I'll write this out. Here's the negative, 3 times 6 to the 8th minus 9 times 6 to the 16th plus 2 times 6 to the 9th or, so that's the minus or the plus x equals 3 times 6 to the 8th plus square root 9 times 16 <clears throat> 9 times 6 to the 16th power plus 2 times 6 to the 9th power. Wow. Okay, fun algebra. All right, largest value of x, so it's going to be the more positive one right there. That's going to be our answer. You survived that long, nice work.